Hey Jody here with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. This is a really quick video. I'm going to try to keep it under three minutes. It's about tack welding thin aluminum. 40 thousandths thick, one millimeter thick aluminum. Tack welding it without filler. I don't do it as a rule, but sometimes I need to get one tack on something without filler so then I can hold it together and get a clamp on it and then use filler metal from there on out. And that's pretty typical. Reason for the video, got an email from a guy who's having fits. He's trying to build a kit car. Uh, some kind of prototype car and he's he's welding 40 thousandths thick 3003 h14 aluminum and he says he just it just peels back with him he's using a miller diversion 165 it's a really simplified inverter machine without any settings on it other than other than polarity and amperage i'm using a very similar machine today a lincoln tig 175 here's some tips on how i do it hopefully some some viewers will chime in with some better tips let's get into it like I said, I'm using the Lincoln TIG 175. I'm going to set it on about 60 amps. That's about one and a half amp per thousandths of thickness. 40 thousandths uh, I'm welding and I'm setting it on 60. Need a little bit more sometimes for a quick blast. I'm only using about 10 CFH of argon. I'm using a little angle block here to, to make an outside corner joint. This has got argon ports on it, but I'm not, I don't have argon hooked up to it. You could just as easily use a block of aluminum, a block of stainless, a piece of regular old angle iron would work really well for this just to have backing on it to line it up. The key is have some overlap with no gap like that. No gap at all and a little bit of overlap at least halfway and that'll go together a lot better. Second thing, sharpened electrode just about like you would use for welding steel or stainless steel. That way it lights up at really low amperage without wandering and burning a corner off and it works really well. You light up low, you get a nice low startup, and then just bump the pedal really quickly until you see things fuse together and then get off of it. That's basically it. A little more overlap like this works just as well. You can see I've already got a slightly rounded tip now, but that's just fine. Lights up really well too at low amperage and puts a nice little quick tack on there with just a quick little burst of amperage from the foot pedal. I'm not ever going all the way, even with cell and 60 amps, not ever having to go all the way down just putting a small tack like that and that's what I want a tack that's smaller than my final bead that's the goal that way when I weld over it you can't see the tack alright we'll weld it out here just for kicks just to see how that works I like the Pyrex cup for filming it did not work really well for propping it's too slick and so here's what happened too uh, it's pretty delicate I dropped it and broke it but a regular old standard alumina cup grabs better for this kind of tacking all right, I've got some new products on the Weldmonger store right now. I've got stubby gas lens kits, regular gas lens kits for 9 and 20, and 332nd basic kits to save you a little money. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.